So once again, welcome to Prayer for America. We're coming on live in the middle of the day, well, in the middle of the day in the West Coast, West Coast. <laughs> uh, in the early afternoon on the East Coast. Uh, and uh, join us all week this week. We are uh, joined today by Tony March Aber, missionary evangelist who have traveled and ministered in over 130 nations. And uh, we're praying for America. We are praying for revival in this nation. We're praying for justice to be done in this upheaval concerning the uh, uh, elections that uh, we've uh, had. And we're praying for God's will to be done in the United States of America. Amen. We're also praying for your needs and we've been approached with different needs. We want to bring those before the Lord during this broadcast. Uh, uh, Brother Tony and Sister Marge, would you greet the people here? <laughs> We greet you in, in the wonderful name of Jesus and what a joy it is to share with you today. Uh, we know the Lord is with us and he always is with us, of course. Uh, we, just, we just appreciate you that are watching and praying with us and we want to continue praying. Brother Walter and Sister Nina, there are people that are grieving. They've had family members pass and we want to remember them in prayer today. And uh, there's, there's friends too up in North Carolina that are praying for their loved ones and, and uh, that are sorrowing as well. So we just, our friends in England who miss uh, dear sister Agnes, we pray for them also. We give you greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. And when we pray today, we want to attack the enemy. And something the Lord has laid on my heart. I know that, uh, that uh, we have been talking this week about uh, the walls and tearing down the walls. But there's something else we need to attack. And that is the, the judges, that God will strengthen them and they will have backbone to stand up because the, we, we must realize that the enemy, the devil, is speaking to these judges through the people. You see on the left, uh, which is, I believe, dominated by demonic powers, uh, they are the ones that, who will kill and destroy and burn down cities where the right, though not perfect, and there are probably a few individuals who would want to do the same thing, they are not prone to do this. So the judges are being lied to, they're being threatened, and we've got to pray that God keeps them and they'll have enough backbone to stand against the demonic lies of the people and the devil himself, because he doesn't want to see um, the lawsuits that are going through. We see now that Texas is wanting uh, to sue and a few other states have joined in already. And we want to see uh, something done. And I think that's one way we need to pray. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, we're definitely going to pray for America. We're going to pray for this, uh, the uh, uh, outcome of the elections. Well, the outcome is there, but it's just there's so much uh, confusion uh, chaos. and chaos. And um, uh, certainly this, uh, uh, this lawsuit by, by Texas is definitely uh, a very positive indicator Could be a game changer. And, and can definitely be a game changer. So um, we're uh, trusting the Lord. It is God that we are dependent on and he uses people. So um, let's go before the Lord. Uh, Nina, you've had a powerful passage that the Lord has given you that you wanted to share. Yeah. And also a prayer that you have written out that God gave you to, to pray specifically mm -hmm. because we do need to pray specifically right um this morning in prayer um god um gave me psalm 46 and as i read it i just felt god's anointing and i just wanted to encourage you just like Mart said god is with us so if god is with us who can be against us so the uh, um here it goes um god is our shelter and he is our strength always ready to help in times of trouble and don't we need that now so we will not be afraid even if the earth is shaken and the mountains fall into the ocean depths even if the seas roar and rage and the hills are shaken by violence there is a river 
that brings joy to the city of God, to the sacred house of the Most High. God is in that city and it will never be destroyed. At early dawn, he will come to its aid. Nations are terrified, kingdoms are shaken. God thunders and the earth dissolves. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and see what the Lord has done. See what amazing things he has done on earth. He stops wars all over the world. He breaks bows, destroys spears. He sets shields on fire. Stop fighting, he says, and see and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme over the world. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. That is powerful. Amen. The Lord is ahead of this thing. The Lord is in charge ultimately. But we pray, we believe, and we uh, ask God to intervene. We ask God to move upon the hearts of Amen. people. We're engaged in a spiritual battle, and people are influenced by spiritual forces, whether by God and, uh, and his uh, Holy Spirit or by uh, the devil and demonic forces. Now, uh, we have a mind, we, have, we can reason things, but there are influences that come in our life and they uh, could come through different channels. When you put on the television, there are certain influences that come right. upon you and they could be for good or for evil or maybe just indifferent, but uh, certainly we are engaged in a spiritual battle right now. And we need to pray for the destiny of America, for God, God's original intent uh, for this country. This country has a covenant with God. It was started by people who loved God That's and right. who dedicated this nation to God. And God remembers that covenant. And God is a covenant keeping God. Yeah. So we are appealing to the court of heaven. There's There are courts here on earth, but we are appealing to the court of heaven. And Jesus Christ is our mediator. He is our advocate or our attorney before the Father. Yeah. And so we are appealing to the court of heaven that God would intervene in the affairs of this nation. You see, God does not force his will upon anyone or upon any nation. But when we humbly come before him and ask for his intervention, intervention and we say, yeah. your kingdom come, your will be done. We are inviting God into our lives, into the course or the future and the destiny of our lives and of this nation. So America needs revival. Amen. America needs a new, fresh revival, a move of God. And uh, we are praying for that. And we are praying for the destiny of this nation. And we do not want to see the forces of evil tilt this nation towards what is not God's intent for this nation. God intended this nation to be a city on a hill yes. shining with the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations. It has fallen away from much of that, but God wants to restore that. And, and, and what, what are the three words that God gave you, Nina? God gave me um, the words reset, um, recharge, and recover. So God's going to reset the playing field. I think that God is resetting the church and its power on earth and that he's going to recharge the church in power, just like in um, the days of old where the church, the prophets were um, dictating to the nation what is going to happen. And um, God's going to move in signs and wonders and miracles. And I believe that's coming. And we are going to recover what we lost, what the enemy has stolen. God is going to give to us. And especially what I feel in my spirit is health. God is going to restore health to many people. There's going to be miracles. And God's not only going to restore health, but finances. And what you've lost during this pandemic, God is going to restore. Hang on. Don't give up. God is on the throne. And He, what he promises, he will do. 
And we're going to pray for the nation, but right now, since you've mentioned that God wants to restore health and yes. finances, we want to pray for people right now who are in need. And uh, there are those uh, that uh, uh, we want to bring up before the Lord. If you want to jot us a quick note and uh, uh, ask us to pray for someone or some situation in particular, we've got people watching us in uh, different parts here of the U.S. and uh, possibly overseas. Um, and uh, our, our, these broadcasts have been watched in different nations, in China and Russia and Ukraine and uh, in uh, uh, Cuba and in South America and all over the U.S. and Canada. And, uh, and so we are wanting to say we're not just praying for America. We are praying for revival in the nations because but what happens in America affects the rest of the world. And so it is very That's important, right. very critical. We're, we are at a very critical juncture in our history here. That's and right. this is a pivotal moment and the church needs to rise up as never before right. because we are engaged. Or we should be engaged. Uh, we certainly are, but we, uh, the church needs to be engaged in this battle. It is the battle for the future of this nation. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, though we may have uh, some political overtones, we're not talking about politics. We're talking about the moral. We're talking about the, uh, about justice. We're talking about the future of this nation spiritually. And God uses vessels. God uses earthen vessels to do his work here on earth. That is why we pray for the president, for uh, those in government, that uh, they would bow their knees before Christ and they would seek his guidance, his direction, that they would receive God's influence and God's direction right. in their lives, um, not the, the enemy, meaning Satan and demonic forces. So we are, it is very crucial, very important that we be praying for this nation, not just now, but always, but especially right now. But we want to pray for needs. Uh, uh, our, our friend, Pastor Bain in uh, Bahamas, uh, uh, his sister had a uh, heart attack on the streets of Florida. She lives in Florida. We want to bring her up before the Lord in prayer. She's in an induced coma um, uh, in the mid, middle of uh, heart surgery. It's hard to understand how that they could do that, but uh, there were complications there. We want to pray for her. We want to pray for Sister Monica, who had just gone through surgery successfully yesterday, open heart surgery, and we are going to pray for her quick recovery. Uh, Sister Marge mentioned our uh, dear friends in the UK who've just lost uh, a friend of ours, uh, they've lost, we've lost a friend, uh, they lost a family member, a mom, a grandma, um, a wife, um, and that is uh, Sister Agnes uh, Harvey um, in, um, in the UK. And uh, we want to pray for God's comfort on their family. Mm -hmm. We know that you have needs, others have needs, and we want to bring those before the Lord. And Brother Tony, perhaps you could lead us in this prayer for for healing, for financial restoration, for God's comfort you know, yeah. to those who are who have lost loved ones. And, and there are other needs. I, I believe you mentioned Brother Doug in the UK, uh, suffering from shingles, needing a healing touch, and whoever else the Lord brings to your remembrance as, as you pray right now. Our Father and our God, as we come before you, before we speak, you are hearing. While we are speaking, Lord, you are active, answering prayer. And Father, we send the word to each and every one of these, whether it be in the Bahamas, whether it be in Cuba, whether it be in England, whether it be in Nepal, whether it be in Africa, Lord, we send the word. Because right now we believe that you are working. While Brother Walter was mentioning these different ones, you were at work. You were hearing and working. And we thank you for that, Father. And Lord, you see, this past week, we have received so many requests from people suffering with cancer. Lord, you see those different children that are in the hospital, that to have requested prayer. And we send the word to each and every one of them. 
Lord, for the personal suffering of God's people in the name of Jesus. We pray for everyone, but especially for those of the household of faith. You see Kenny there, Lord, suffering with that back condition, crushed vertebrae in Jesus' name. You see Gwen, Lord, who has fallen and has broken those ribs. We send that word. Lord, it doesn't matter. They're thousands of miles away from where we pray. We know, Lord, that you hear and you understand and you know the suffering they are going through. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, you see the suffering of your people in the nations of China, Lord, in the Asia and in parts of Africa. Lord, we've uh, personally experienced uh, uh, the persecution in North Africa, and we send it, Lord, to your people there, especially that are being persecuted. Lord, that the church uh, might rise up and be strong and take authority over the demonic powers that are attacking your people in the name of Jesus. Lord, you see that one that has that eye operation either today or tomorrow. Lord, we send the word to that one as well in Jesus' name. And Lord, we believe right now because you said if two on earth agree upon touching anything, it would be given them of our Father which is in heaven. And in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, heal, heal the men. Heal the women, heal the children, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I, I, I think especially, Lord, for those in the countries, Lord, that they don't have money for doctors or there are no physicians there to help cure them. But the master physician, the great physician, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has healing, healing with those stripes that were laid upon his back in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And then, Lord, I pray, and we pray together for your people, the ministries that are out there, Lord, being held back by this demonic power of the virus and pandemic, Lord, Help them in Jesus' name uh, as they try to minister to others like we are trying to do. Lord, in Jesus' name, uh, help them, encourage them, supply their needs, whether it be spiritual, physical, or financial. You're the God who is the El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough for every situation. And so we send the word. We send that healing word. God sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from destruction. Lord, I pray for our dear brother Roy up there on the island. Lord, uh, one year in bed. But Lord, you can restore those kidneys. You can restore that heart. Uh, there's nothing impossible in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, so many, Lord, and you see them all, and you care for them all, and it's in that mighty name that we join together and pray and believe. And now, Lord, we thank you for the answer. And, Lord, uh, I'd like to encourage everyone that's listening, that's suffering, that would just raise their hands now and say, Lord, I receive. I receive from your giving hands. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And you that are watching, you that are listening, and as you pray, and if you believe, put your faith in action. Begin to do what you couldn't do. If you couldn't walk, get up and try to walk. If you couldn't move that arm, Lord, you see, like my sister-in-law, 
who's suffering with that arthritis in her shoulders. Uh, Lord, as she lifts those arms, uh, let there be healing as she puts her faith in action. And then for Darla there in Japan, Lord, uh, you see the pain she's going through. You see our dear brother John, who's been bedridden now for two or three years. Uh, God, to reverse that Parkinson's disease. Uh, for feel, Lord, with that Parkinson's disease, heal in Jesus' name and restore our mind. And Lord, we could go on and on. There's so many, but you know each one. And Lord, we want to encourage them to put their faith in action, to feel for the pain and begin to rejoice and receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, and Father, we agree, we agree, yes. and we thank yes. you, we thank, thank you, Lord, that you are touching, we thank you that you are healing, we thank you that that pain is leaving right now, we thank you that that sickness is being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ, so just receive your healing, put your faith in action if you can, try to do what you could not do by faith, believing, receive right now, the healing is yours, the anointing is here right now, the Holy Spirit is touching you, the Holy Spirit is right there where you're at, and though we may be far away, as far as physical distance, the Holy Holy Spirit is right there with you right now. Receive your healing. We know there are people watching us in Ukraine. There are people watching us in various parts of the world. Receive your healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we send your word, oh God. Touch, heal, deliver from destruction. Comfort those, oh God, that have lost loved ones, like the Harvey family, the Knock family. Lord, in Jesus' name, comfort them, strengthen them. And Lord, we thank Thank you for quick and speedy recovery of Sister Monica here locally. And Lord, we thank you for touching her. We thank you for getting her through surgery better than expected. But Lord, we thank you that your hand has been and will be upon her as she recovers right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Pastor Bain's sister that you are extending your hand of grace to her, touching her there in that hospital, guiding the hands of the doctors and nurses tending to her there in Florida in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And Lord, we thank you for all these others that you are touching, Brother Doug in the UK, touching him and healing him from shingles in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. You sense any particular. Yeah. There's a Natasha that has been asking God for healing, and he's saying, I am the God that heals you. So accept your healing in Jesus' name, Natasha. Na so, Natasha, maybe don't speak English. I better translate to Russian. Uh, Natasha, если ты слышишь, Господь исцеляет тебя прямо сейчас во имя Иисуса Христа. Well, I wasn't talking in tongues. I was just uh, um, saying that in Russian because Natasha is a Russian or could be a Ukrainian name. And uh, so we just want American. you to know. I could be American too. Yes. Okay. And the Lord is healing you. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Oh, there's such an anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is moving around the world. And uh, Sister Marcy, thank you for being on with us in agreement right yes, now. Amen. And uh, uh, praise God. And we look forward to having you on tomorrow as we continue to pray for America and the world. Uh, but uh, let's pray for America right now. Uh, America needs prayer. And uh, you have a, a specific prayer the Lord has given you to, to pray over America. Nina, would you lead us in that prayer right now? Father, we are in the battle for the soul of this nation. We have humbled ourselves and turned from our wicked ways, and we are calling on your name, Lord. Lord, we ask for you to extend mercy to the United States of America. Lord, judge the enemies of this great nation. Father, we declare and we decree that your plans and your purposes for this nation will not be thwarted by an enemy that has been defeated on a cross. Father, you gave us the authority over all the power of the enemy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind the Antichrist spirit that is risen in this country and we command it to die and it can no longer manifest because 
Greater is he, you, Lord, that is in us than he that is in the world. The enemy has been defeated and he has no power over us. We declare that Jesus is Lord over this nation and over this election. Father, we thank you that you will expose the fraud and the people involved who stand against your plans and purposes. Father, we pray that your light will shine and expose what is hidden in darkness. Father, we thank you that you are going before us in your supernatural power as we declare and we stand on your living word. Just as the walls of Jericho came tumbling down, the walls of corruption are going to fall in Jesus' name. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly, according to your word in Psalms 103, Lord. So, Father, we declare righteousness and justice to overturn fraud and bring complete truth in Jesus' name. Father, we put our trust, complete trust in you, and we will see the salvation of the Lord. We pray this in Father, your holy name, Father, your kingdom come and your will will be done in the United States of America. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise Father, we agree. You, we agree. And we thank you that you are working. We thank you that the wheels of Pharaoh's chariots are beginning to come off in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are putting your thumb on this uh, situation, on this election, and you are exposing that which was hidden in darkness. You are bringing to light. And thank you, Lord, that there will be justice thank you lord that there will be light and we thank you that there will be justice in the united states of america and lord we thank you for that which is already happening we do not see everything we do not know everything but you do lord and we are trusting you and we know that we are engaged in spiritual warfare and we recognize that the the weapons of our warfare are not cardo but they are mighty through God for the pulling Jesus down of strongholds. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we pull down the walls of Jericho that have been put around the fraud. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we command those walls in Jesus name, come down right now and evil and fraud be exposed Thank as nakedness God. right now in Jesus name where there's nowhere to flee in Jesus name and Lord we thank you we thank you that you are working we thank you for justice we thank you that your destiny for the United States of America yes. will come to pass yes. will be fulfilled yes. will again and America will again return to its foundational yes. principles thank you Lord thank you, thank you Lord that you are working in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah brother Tony sister Marge yes praise the Lord you know uh, brother Walter and sister Nina we're just thinking about how people are praying for their loved ones to be saved and how important it is that we keep giving our testimony I think of Paul, the Apostle Paul before Agrippa, and Agrippa said, Paul, after his sermon and his testimony he had given before King Agrippa, he said, you almost persuade me to become a Christian. Well, we need to continue to give our testimony to what God has done for all of us. He's done much for all of us. We are so thankful. So we need to just share our testimony as we pray for these that we are praying for. God is so good, and he's done so much for us. We have so much to be thankful for his healing power in my body and Tony's body. We just thank God for all he's done. So continue to give your testimony and share what Jesus has done for you. And as we share here on, on uh, the this uh, broadcast, we just pray that these testimonies will encourage you and know that you can believe God and stand with God God's word. Amen. Agree with me for the judges right now. Yes. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus name. give the judges of America, yes. whether it be in the Supreme Court or the state Supreme Courts or every federal judge in the country, give them courage yes. not to be afraid of threats and what may be the result of the left 
in the name of Jesus, because if God be for us, who can be against us? And so, Lord, I pray that you will cause uh, the judges of America to be like the judges of the Old Testament that stood for righteousness, no matter what the cost they stood. And Lord, in Jesus' name, cause the judges of this country to be encouraged, to be strengthened, and to be overcomers, Lord, that they may rule what is right, and the evil may be put down. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yes, Father, we agree yes. for you to give them a backbone, a strong yes. backbone yes, to yes. not be swayed by pressure from anyone, but you uh, to do right and to do justly and to follow the constitution of this nation so father we pray that you would give them the fortitude yes. and that they would not succumb to whatever peer pressure or any kind of pressure that uh, may be uh, exerted on them may they follow the constitution may they follow the law and may of the land and may they rule righteously and justly and in jesus name in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. praise god praise the Lord. Praise yeah, so. the Lord. what keeps coming to me is to be still and know that i am god and then be still that means that we can be confident that we could trust him that we could stand firm on his promises the bible tells us that his promises are our armor and protection so we can fight this battle in the spirit and god is for us and god is for us who can be against us so Remember, be still and know that I am God. Amen. Amen. And as I've said before, uh, uh, sometimes we get um, a little impatient mm -hmm. uh, because we're used to uh, kind of everything happening like uh, in a quick moment, like in a movie, everything gets resolved in mm -hmm. 20 minutes or an mm -hmm. hour or uh, or like you go and microwave something and suddenly your food is cooked very rapidly or is <laughs> warmed up very rapidly. Well, um, uh, you can ask a farmer if he plants a seed today he doesn't get a harvest tomorrow it takes a mm -hmm. bit of time it's there it's doing something that seed is germinating and then it comes out of the ground even so with prayer you're planting a seed you uh, god has heard these prayers god has heard the prayers of uh, believers all over the united states and all over the world because there are many nations uh, where believers are praying for us and praying for this election because they know what is at stake we they know how america has stood up for religious freedom in their country and has stood up for persecution of the persecuted church in many parts of the world and it's hard for us to imagine that here in america but there are many nations where christians are persecuted and severely and so but america stood up for those and they've stood up for the persecuted around the world and so they know that what happens in america affects them in those other countries because if america is no longer the refuge if america is no longer that beacon of light that uh, authoritatively stands against corruption around the world against uh, against persecution and against wrong uh, then then who will take that place so it is so crucial that we continue to pray and wage a spiritual battle but like i said you plant a seed it's working, it's there. You may not see that uh, plant tomorrow, the day after, but eventually it comes out. And so we are beginning to see some things. We're seeing some major uh, activity in the court, uh, Supreme Court right now. Well, that's just part of it. God is working in other areas as well, but we need to continue to do what we are doing. And join us again tomorrow, 12 o'clock. We're going to have Marcy Labaki with us. Uh, and then on Friday, we're going to have Brother Albert Ramirez again with us. But join us as we continue to wage spiritual warfare and continue to pray for America. Um, any closing thoughts or, or, or words from Tony and Marge or, or Nina? The greater the battle, the greater the victory. If you were to battle some little child of three years old and uh, knock him down, wouldn't be much of a victory. 
But when you face a giant like little David did against Goliath, that's a, that's a victory. So we've got to remember the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's and greater is the battle. Greater will be the victory and the latter will be able to praise the Lord. Let's just keep thanking the Lord for what he's doing. He's hearing our prayers uh, for the country, for the countries of the world. As we pray, he's hearing our prayers. So let's just keep thanking him for his working power in the name of the Lord. Amen. And they can keep watering that seed that we're planting by praying, uh, by, by continuing to pray and praising the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're so thankful that Tony and Marge Abram were able to join us today. And uh, we, uh, as I mentioned, we'll have Marcy with us tomorrow, Brother Albert on uh, uh, Friday, uh, God permitting. And then on Saturday, and usually we'll do it on Sunday, but Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. East Coast time, we will be on Prayer for America Live. It'll be a longer broadcast than these uh, uh, shorter ones during the week. But join us and get your friends to join us as we continue to pray for America. We'll be joined by Tony March Abram and Sister Marcy Labaki. All of us uh, will be on together on uh, Saturday uh, evening. And then we will just rebroadcast that on Sunday evening since we will not be able to do that live on Sunday evening. But we will be on Saturday, our usual Sunday. We'll, uh, we'll, we will do sun Saturday afternoon, this Saturday on, um, at 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Uh, East Coast mm -hmm. time. Uh, do figure out your time zone <laughs> and, uh, and join us. If you cannot join us because of the time difference, uh, watch us later and do a watch party, get other people uh, to join in. God richly bless you and uh, join us tomorrow. God bless you. <laughs>